Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something pretty cool to show you here. Our good friend Daniel came down to Jet Set 2025 and while he was here, he saw all of our boats with the Sea Keeper ride on it and said, man, I gotta have some of that. So he left his boat with us and we installed a Sea Keeper ride. And while he was here, decided I also wanted to add a three-in-one transducer so he could do some fishing. These things are really awesome if you're trying to do the side scan thing, you wanna see what's on the bottom. Uh, one of the issues that we were having after installing the transducer was above 18 miles an hour, we were losing depth uh, because we disconnected the factory transducer in order to connect the new three-in-one. From the factory, they don't have enough connection points on the back of the SEMRAD to connect both. Uh, so, uh, went out, installed a hub, connected both transducers, and today we're going to show you uh, that we were able to get a really great picture at low speeds. Uh, using the three in one up to about 18 miles an hour. And then obviously still getting our depth off of the factory transducer at speeds above 18 miles an hour. Let's go have some fun. All right, check it out. So we're starting to pass by the jetties here, Panama City Beach. And these stones over here that you see in the water, those are actually the stones underwater you're seeing the light on this side and the shadows on that side and we've had a successful installation it looks like bring the camera in tight here i want to show you on the screen you'll notice right now we've got the three in one which is the side scan portion of that three in one turned on right now getting a good bottom picture and we're crawling along about four mile an hour we've got two different depth readings so over here in the left corner this is going to be our three in one reading it's showing right now about 23 feet over here it's showing about 24 and a half I believe when they were set up, one's reading true depth from the actual transducer's location, and one's probably reading water depth total. There's usually about a foot and a half variance there. Um, so anyway, as we take off now, I want to show you, we get to about 18 or 19 mile an hour, you'll start seeing this fade out. This will become inaccurate, and this is going to actually maintain constant depth. See how this one's starting to fall off now? It's showing five. That's reading true. So the transducer is not going to read at speeds above, the three in one transducer is not going to read at speeds above about 18, 19 miles an hour. That's when it loses its accuracy. Now, if I pull back down, you'll see it begin to come back online. The picture quality is not going to be great at these speeds up around 18 miles an hour or so. Research we've done is that. Uh, you really want to use your three-in-one, your, your side scan at speeds below five miles an hour, really for best picture resolution, that sort of thing. Anyway, for what we've done here at Jet Boat Pilot, uh, we've observed in order to get great depth readings at low speeds and at high speeds, you need two different transducers, the factory transducer, and also the three-in-one with the custom bracket that we're installing now, that does give you a great picture on that side scan, but we have to install a special hub that hub is basically like a network hub. So we're able to install two different transducers feeding into one MFD. The MFDs from the factory don't have enough slots on the back to plug into transducers and that's why you need the hub. All this information, I'm sure there's questions you're gonna have. Feel free to comment below. We'll be, able to be glad to answer those questions as best as we can. Uh, these installations are done custom by Jet Boat Pilot, the brackets. We do them here. We're not selling them online just yet. We're still kind of just doing them in-house just as we continue to kind of fine tune and make sure everything's 100%. Uh, but if you've got questions about installation, obviously let us know about that. And also like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. That really helps us continue to make high quality content, grow the channel, that'd be super helpful. And by the way, if you like this video, check this one out. 